Hey brothers and sisters. So I was doing some research today and I found this interesting article by the Gateway Pundit. The article is entitled, Report Release Shows Impact Christians Had on 2024 Election. This is huge. So the article goes on to say that um, President-elect Donald Trump scored a landslide victory over Vice President Kamala Harris for many reasons. If you paid close attention to public affairs for at least the last four years, you almost certainly understand the earnestness with which politically engaged, conservative-minded, and freedom-loving Americans came to regard the recent election as first and foremost a spiritual contest between good and evil. And um, I find it is interesting, brothers and sisters, that there's been a lot of debates within the prophetic community, specifically over whether or not to vote, um, who to vote for, whether it violates people's conscience. There's been some division within the body of Christ amongst fellow believers over this issue. But I wanted to go on in this article because I think this speaks numbers uh, with regards to what's going on in our country as believers. It says, thus, one finds it unsurprising, but also heartening to learn that according to a post-election report published last week by the Cultural Research Center at Arizona Christian University, self-identified Christian voters proved decisive in Trump's victory. For instance, the president-elect earned 56% support among Christian voters, at least those who called themselves Christians. By contrast, Harris won only 43% of the self-identified Christian vote. You know, I find that to be kind of a troubling um, statistic. 43% of the self-identified Christian vote voted for Harris. I, I'm not sure what kind of Christians they are, but let's go on. Trump's 13-point winning margin might not seem overwhelming until one considers that Christians constituted 72% of the overall electorate electorate, excuse me. Hence, their support for the re-elected Republican made the difference in the race. For instance, voters of no religious faith unsurprisingly went for Harris by 29% uh, percentage points. Those voters, however, represent only 24% of the U.S. adult population and only 19% of the 2024 turnout. It says, meanwhile, Christians of every description turned out to vote at a higher rate than their numbers would suggest. Overall, while Christians represent 68% of the U.S. adult population, they comprised 72% of the 2024 electorate. In other words, because they showed up at the polls, American Christians wielded power disproportionate even to their large numbers. So, I just want to step out for a second and comment it. You know, a lot of people claim to be Christians in this country. Um, a lot of people identify themselves as Christians. But I think when they say Christians, um, they're really speaking to conservatives, conservative values. So we, you know, we, not, we know that the number of Christians in this country is probably a lot smaller. Um, and there's a lot of professing Christians, a lot of denominational Christians, etc. But... I think this really speaks to the conservative values that people still hold and that it was being under attack even more. Uh, we know that there's a spiritual battle going on and that really our country's problems can be wrapped up into a moral and spiritual problem. All problems in this country stem from a moral and spiritual problem, the problem of sin and death. The article goes on to say that... Um, According to Decision Desk HQ, Trump prevailed in the swing states by margins ranging from approximately 30,000 votes in Wisconsin to more than 120,000 votes in Pennsylvania and more than 180,000 votes in both North Carolina and Arizona. The degree to which Christian voters shaped those specific results remains a matter of speculation. So I will include this link to the article so you can read it for yourself, but you know, the big thing was for even Trump himself said, we need Christians to get out and vote. And I think by Christian, it's a very loose term in this country. I think what they mean is conservatives. We need to vote conservatively for life, economically, constitutional rights, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, etc. 
And I think um, it remains to be seen yet, brothers and sisters, what this all means for this country. I, I still think we live in a Romans 1 society where we're under God's judgment for our moral degradation and our spiritual issues that we have going on in this country. Even if things improve economically, it doesn't mean that our spiritual condition is any better. It's going to continue to get worse and worse until the Lord comes back for his church. God bless.